Imagine a system where police were able to pull up a map of the city and see where every camera is located, even tap into the live feed. That is what Colleen's Police Department is trying to do with its new KPD Connect program. And they need your help. If you live or own a business in Colleen, News 10's Isabella Quintanilla has been looking into this and has more on what it could mean for the public. It's just a visual way to really quickly take in what's going on in the city all at once. Colleen's assistant chief of police, Alex Gearhart, says KPD Connect is all about enhancing public safety throughout the city. The way it works is if you have a ring doorbell for your home or security cameras for your business and register your camera, now whenever there is a crime in the area, it will be easier for police to find a camera that might have caught what happened. And the purpose for that is, is for us to collect a database of all the locations of cameras in the in the in our city that we can use for both for real time purposes and for investigative follow ups. He assures people that they do not have to allow the department to have access to their cameras live feed. However, that is still an option for businesses or even residents with this core device. Even that is strictly voluntary and a person can turn that on and off at will. They can they can set it for certain times of day. Not, not, all, not all times of day. So there's a lot of controls that that person has. They're not giving up control of their cameras to us. James Parrish has been the owner of Bill's Muffler Shop in Colleen for four years now. He believes this is a good thing. Just recently, he helped police while investigating a gunfight across the street by allowing them access to his cameras. They had mentioned to me about the camera program and I told him absolutely. So he went online and registered each one of his cameras. I think it's great. Anything we can do to to open it up to where we can minimize the crime. And now anyone can go to KPD Connect and register, which Gearhart says only takes a few minutes. It's just getting started. We've got about 225 cameras registered right now. Uh, so it's a pretty good start, but there's a whole lot more out there. We'd like to you know, build that database, make it more robust. Their next step will be building the new real-time crime center that utilizes KPD Connect. Construction is expected to start within the next week or two. We're hoping that to have the actual real-time crime center, the physical location, up and running in the first part of December. Reporting in Colleen, Isabella Quintanilla, KWTX News 10.